Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily markets review for the trading day ending Monday July 13th. Firstly to the uh, S&P 500 on the uh, weekly charts and the second last candle here is the one that uh, we're analysing that has finished the uh, prior week, that uh, final one reflects Monday's trading. But uh, just looking at the continuation of the trend to the downside for that week that has finished trading, the market finding support down below the uh, 2067 level of previous support, important support tested on a couple of occasions in the last uh, um, six months or so. Uh, or two or three months actually and uh, testing down below the Kijun Sen indicator almost down to the 2039 uh, area and the long shadow here highlights uh, the loss of commitment by the sellers for last week's trading and towards the end of the week the buyers coming into the market strongly closing with control and setting the market up for the potential change of trend that we're seeing occur at the moment. If the buyers continue in this vein for the uh, remainder of the week uh, we certainly are likely to see confirmation of that change of trend. The problem is going to be 2100 level of uh, resistance round number and uh, we are testing around there at the moment so uh, some important trading coming up over the next few days. Possibility of the market trading up to the 2119 level if the buyers are strong enough to go on with the move. Just using the Fibonacci extension tool here with the uh, first time frame downtrend and comparing that to the immediate previous first time frame downtrend and we see the market has uh, tested uh, through the 100% level once again at that 2066 level uh, failing to close beyond there with the buyers taking control on that candle and has finalised trading and the loss of commitment from the sellers has set the market up for the change of trend that we're seeing at the moment. Moving to the daily charts with the S&P 500 and here we see very strong buying coming in off the very strong build of momentum at the end of last week's trading. Uh, the uh, market for last week found some resistance at the top of that highlighted yellow zone. Uh, there was some price rejection from there, failing to close above there, but today we've seen strong follow through. The market trading up above the uh, Kijun Sen indicator and into the Ichimoku cloud suggesting that we now have potentially have a transition away from that bearish activity to bullish if we can trade up through the top of the cloud for the next few days trading. Top of the cloud for tomorrow's trading uh, becomes uh, significantly lower and is just around the 2103 level. So this region from about 2100 round number resistance that we saw today to about 2103 to roughly 2104 is going to be very, very important. If we see a strong bullish breakout up above the cloud and strong bullish follow through, we could see the market transitioning back into a strong uptrending phase in that longer term time frame. One thing to watch for here is the flat kitchen sand and price action could be attracted back towards it, so we'll be watching that and it could hold a strong support if the market does sell off, trading uh, roughly about 20.87. Moving next to the Dow 30 on the weekly charts and similar type of trading activity for the week that has finished trading. Testing down through important 17.579 support uh, has been tested mo on multiple occasions and the market fell into close uh, below there with the buyers coming into the market to set the market up for this change of trend that we're seeing. Importantly, uh, this market has closed up above the uh, Tenkan Sen indicator and uh, suggests that we could see a test up to the 18103 level. Very strong resistance around that level in the recent past. If we look here on one, two, three, four occasions, we've seen the market testing above there and being rejected from there. So very important trading coming up if we do test up around that level. Next to the daily charts with the Dow 30 and uh, similar type of trading activity that we saw with the S&P 500, a uh, strong bullish candle off the back of uh, a bullish candle to close, bullish candle to close the week last week. Uh, important uh, bullish close up above the Kijun Sen indicator gives us a bullish market in all, uh, in sorry, in the medium and fast term timeframes, and just neutral in the longer term time frame by closing within the Ichimoku cloud, but a transition away from that bearish activity in the longer term time frame by trading below the cloud. Uh, the close above 17.967 suggests we may see higher price levels, but uh, we do have just the top of that uh, highlighted zone, uh, just above where the market's closed. So some important trading coming up over the next few days. And uh, with the uh, top of the Ichimoku cloud close by roughly about 18.040, it uh, may uh, see some selling coming in around that region. There is uh, 
further potential um, strong resistance above if we do see the market break out to the upside. So from 18,103 up to the highlight to the top of this highlighted yellow zone, about 18,200, uh, could see some resistance uh, for the buyers. Moving next to the NASDAQ 100 and a very different type of candle to close the week. Uh, we've seen the formation of a spinning top type candle. Uh, this follows a doji type candle and this candle also uh, represents the buyers taking control by closing up towards the uh, high between the midpoint level and the high but the small body here suggested that uh, this downtrend that the market was in in the first term time frame was in danger of changing indecision had entered the market we saw strong upside price rejection from below the important 4380 level of previous support and then from the previous resistance level at 4347 and uh, the market however found some resistance at the Tenkinson indicator roughly about 44 44.52 actually. Um, for the start of this week's trading we've seen strong bullish activity and testing up above the 44.83 level of resistance. If the buyers are strong enough they could easily test up to uh, the major high uh, around 45.62 next to the daily chart for the NASDAQ 100 and uh, here we see very strong uh, bullish activity again importantly breaking out through the top of the Chimaku cloud so we have a bullish market in all three time frames here uh, this market today has taken out important resistance at the window that was opened up in the recent past taking that out in a bullish manner suggests that the buyers certainly are very strong in this market at the moment uh, trading through 44.83 in a bullish manner suggests a strong likelihood of the market at least testing to 45.10, perhaps to the bottom of this highlighted zone. Uh, we could see some resistance coming in between that 45.10 and the 45.51 if the buyers are strong enough to trade up through into that region. Um, the market are gapping up and uh, establishing this window here just below where the markets uh, traded today uh, suggest that we have very strong uh, support down below if we do see any selling coming in so that's going to be a very important uh, benchmark if we do see the sellers uh, come back in and try to uh, change the trend back to the downside just at the top of that um, window we also have the kitchen end trading uh, roughly about 44.54 so very very solid support down below but uh, very real possibility for the market testing up to about 45.10 at least for tomorrow's trading Moving next to the Russell 2000 and uh, another market that's gapped up uh, for today's trading and that's off the back of the formation of the uh, um, white body candle that has closed the uh, last week's trading. Uh, the buyers coming back into the market solidly off the support very close to the kitchen sand indicator trading around 12.24 at the moment. Um, at the moment this current candle has formed this window whether the window holds for the next week uh, we'll see if the market does test lower potential uh, resistance at the Tenkinsen uh, trading it to 12.61 roughly has been taken out for the current week that is developing so there is an opportunity here for the buyers to test up to uh, potential resistance around the 12.78 level and just to the daily chart with the Russell 2000 and here we see that window that has formed for today's trading off the back of the uh, very bullish uh, activity bouncing off the um, Ichimoku cloud support the buyers coming into the market very strongly today establishing the window as a strong area of support extending down to roughly about 12.53 importantly the market taking out the Kuchinsen indicator today giving us a bullish market in all three time frames um, possible resistance coming around this 12.66 level but if that area is breached uh, we could see uh, the Russell 2000 testing up to 12.78 quite easily. Moving across next to our um, asset class ETFs and uh, firstly looking at the US 20 year 20 plus year treasury bond fund and here we see strong downtrending price activity a bearish candle to close the week uh, on a candle that made a higher high and a higher low and uh, then we've seen selling coming in as this new week is forming if we look at the relative strength comparative to the um, S&P 500 ETF, the SPY SPY ETF strongly underperforming and continuing to underperform and suggesting that we certainly could see lower levels here so no reallocation of uh, funds away from the equities market to the longer term uh, bond uh, asset class in uh, the uh, on the weekly charts 
the shorter time frame uh, bond uh, fund is, uh, is slightly different uh, trading up above the Ichimoku cloud not as negative as the uh, other longer term uh, bonds um, bullish in the medium and fast term time frames uh, some selling coming into the market with a black body candle but the trend in the first time frame is still up but looking at the performance not underperforming the market not outperforming and just a neutral uh, performance here so uh, an equal weighting to US equities looking next at the global infrastructure ETF and we see negative activity down below with the Ichimoku cloud and each of the indicators so strongly trending down um, attempting to rally for the start of this week but likely to find strong resistance at the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud looking at the relative strength strongly underperforming the uh, overall US equities market and suggesting uh, that uh, sh we should be allocating away from the infra infrastructure fund next is VEU this is the all world equities index less the US index so external equities markets and we see the market trading within the Ichimoku cloud attempting to rally but likely to find strong resistance around the top of the Ichimoku cloud about the $49.21 dollar level um, strongly underperforming over the last couple of weeks so uh, allocating away from e equities outside of the US VEU uh, sorry Sorry, VNQ is the next uh, that we're looking at, which is the real estate asset class. And uh, here we see uh, strong downtrending price activity, finding support at the bottom of the Ichimoku cloud, uh, bouncing off in a solid way for the candle. It has finished trading for this week, testing resistance around the uh, Tenkatsen indicator. And for this week, as it's developing, we are seeing some resistance. For the uh, past few weeks prior to this week, we've seen... Uh, the uh, real estate uh, asset class uh, strongly underperforming the overall market underperforming still but not in as strong a manner as it has been but certainly wouldn't be looking to, to allocate to this asset class from equities at the moment next is the gold ETF strongly uh, trading down below each of the Jamaica indicators solid support down below uh, just where the market's trading at the moment about 109, 108 uh, no strong underperformance or overperformance against the US equities so uh, looking at an equal weighting here at the moment and on a daily basis uh, TLT is the code the 20 plus year treasury bond fund uh, trending down um, trading down below each of the Jamaica indicators strong support here at the previous swing low about 114.81 was previously outperforming the market for a very short period of time so no strong follow through in the trend in this relative strength comparative now just below the bottom band and suggesting that uh, the uh, underperformance if we do breach down below this swing low the underperformance could continue and the shorter term uh, uh, treasury bond fund is uh, trending down quite strongly in the first term time frame has been uh, previously outperforming the US equities but now trading within the bands and suggesting that that out outperformance over the last week or so has ended so we're seeing a flow of capital uh, back from those shorter term uh, bonds back into the equities market next to the uh, sector ETFs and uh, XLF is the first we'll be looking at and we saw something of a pullback over the last couple of weeks but uh, for the end of uh, the week that has finished trading uh, this white body candle has found strong support at the kitchen sand indicator trading at 2410 uh, the buyers are taking control at the end of the week and uh, for the beginning of this week we are seeing strong buying coming in with a change of trend and the market trading through the tank sand. relative strength comparative remains strong here trading up outside of the upper band and momentum of that relative strength is uh, trending up uh, quite strongly as well so suggesting that this is certainly one of the strongest sectors that we should be looking to allocate to the financial sector. XLE, the energy sector ETF, is trending down very strongly in on the weekly charts. Formation of a doji candle at the end of last week, so we'll be looking for a change of trend and some buying to come in here as well, but we're not seeing that at the moment. The high still of this previous candle hasn't been taken out, and even if we do see the market recover, looking to strong resistance around the tank at 76.63. Relative strength comparative is still trending down very strongly, down below that lower band, so not looking to trade any uh, equities in this, as in this uh, sector. 
healthcare index is very strong, uh, trending uh, up above each of the Jamaica indicators. The chicka span here is still well above corresponding price action. Relative strength comparities have has been above the uh, upper band for the majority of uh, this time for the last uh, six months or so, and, and continuing that. Um, trading nowhere down below the uh, uh, near the Kitchen Sand indicator for the week that has finished trading the market tested down below the tank sand but closed back up above the tank sand in a bullish manner and suggesting that uh, this uh, sector is still one of the strongest in the overall equities, equities market. Next to the consumer discretionary ETF at, uh, sector and here we see strong bullish activity up above the Tankinson indicator finding solid support there once again for this week that has finished trading. The buyers coming in stop uh, strongly for this week's trading testing up above the swing high here at 78.21 looking at the relative strength strongly outperforming the overall market and certainly where we should be looking to find stocks or just trading this ETF as a strong outperformer against the overall equities market and to the daily chart here with uh, the XLY uh, ETF, the consumer discretionary ETF, and we've seen the market take out the important swing high resistance, roughly about 78.20, in a strong bullish manner today. The buyer is strongly in control, relative strength comparative, continues to trade up above the upper band, so strong outperformer, and momentum here of relative strength continues to uh, move higher.